So when you see this error in FreeCAD, you need to stop what you're doing and actually fix the error. Otherwise you're gonna run into problems. And also FreeCAD is going to slow down quite considerably. So if I hit yes with this, this was caused by a tick. You can see by the datum plane here. And I come up to edit, refresh, because I need to recompute. And it's saying about this dependency error. The document contains dependency cycles. Please check report view for more details. Do you still want to proceed? If I hit yes, well, it all looks fine. But the minute I start adding things to this, let's come over to something like the part and add a sphere in here. You can see it's taken a while. What's happening in the background is that we're getting this cycle and each time we do an operation here, such as add the sphere, we're creating a recompute that's actually going into a loop. So for instance, you can still see the tick there. If I take that sphere and change the radius to say 10 and click off, well, it's taken quite a long time. Let's see what's happened. So I'm gonna come in, click on that sphere, hit delete. Again, it's going to take a time to delete that sphere away. If we look on the left-hand side here, we can see that the data plane has got a tick on it, asking for recompute. Each time we hit recompute, and then we get that dependency cycle. Now, the data plane support is draft edge T. If we come up to the draft, press the spacebar on there, and hide the array. So we're just dealing with this draft now. If we look at the draft, you can see the neutral plane on there. I've actually set to the datum plane. But the datum plane, the sporting edge, is the draft edge. This is impossible because one has to exist before the other. So I've used the datum plane to create the draft, but I've also attached the datum plane to the draft, which is a kind of chicken and egg scenario. Which one came first? So how did this model get into this state? When I added the datum plane, it was actually after I did the draft because I needed to draft one of the angles and have a planar surface to draft this against. So if I delete the datum plane, click yes to that, the draft is going to fail. Double click the draft and fix that. We've got no neutral plane there. And we're just going to draft that face and have some draft in here. And hit OK. Come over to the model. So from here to get into the state, well, we add the datum plane over in the part design. Add that. Now it's saying selecting. So I'm going to select this edge of the draft. So draft edge two, inertia two three, and we'll add some angle. 90 degrees on the X axis. So we've added that in there. And then this is where the circular dependency comes in. Because I've added the datum plane to the draft, well, let's say that I use the datum plane now as a neutral plane for the draft. So click the draft, double click it, and we can select the neutral plane as the datum plane. Let's reverse the pull direction and hit OK. Our draft takes longer to process and we get ourselves into the state. Control R and we get the dependency error. So you have to be careful when adding operations after features have been built to make sure that you don't attach them to a feature and also use them to modify that feature itself. What I should have done is delete the datum plane, fix the draft, and I'll go to the operation above that draft the pocket and add the datum plane to the same edge, but using the pocket this time. So this pocket was before this draft. So let's add the datum plane in, set the reference, 
inertia 2 free, 90 degrees around the X. Bring back the draft. And then we can use that thousand plane in the draft. So we'll click the draft, click the neutral plane, set the datum plane, click reverse. Yeah, okay. And now we can use the datum plane without the dependency error. So if you ever see that error, no matter what you're doing in FreeCAD, just stop and have a look at the tree view to understand what you've attached, say a sketch, a datum plane, whatever object that's been added and find out where it's been used. You can easily find out where it's been used by clicking on it, the one that has got the tick by the side of it, which will be causing the error and hitting delete. When you hit delete, it will tell you what it's connected to. So I hope that tip has helped. It was raised by a viewer's question. I hope it's revealed where the problems lay when you're creating the models. Thanks a lot and I'll see you again in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.